from prison the ultimate penitentiary is 120 years old overcrowded and has more than once been the site of an inmate rebellion they start killing the walls was a world inside of the world eight or ten of break and we had to go in there and hunt for boss still hot they're still can anybody hear me can you guys hear me get out of there okay bro you can get out of there how do you know where i'm going make it through that hall you should book it you should get the hell out of there as fast as you can get out of there I'm 19, and I'm from La Cunada, California. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Mark. I'm from Long Island, New York. My name is Ryan, and I'm from Montclair, California. My name is Christina. I'm from Huntington Beach, California. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> I'm about to set off uh, in an adventure of newfound knowledge into the world of uh, the paranormal. They told me that I was going to be going on a ghost hunt. I think I'm going maybe in the woods, someplace a little spooky. Somewhere outside. They told me to dress warm. We're all gonna have camera equipment attached to us, like, so that we don't have to hold it. And there's not gonna be any cameramen or cast and crew or whatever. It's just gonna be us. We're the cast, six people, and we're the cameramen. We're gonna be strapped up with the vest, and the vest is gonna have a camera attached to it. We're sleeping during the day. Then we're gonna go to some sort of computer, and this computer is going to give us these tasks. I believe in ghosts, I believe in the paranormal and spirits and hauntings. I personally don't think they're out there, I just think they're just head games. I believe that our brains possess electromagnetic waves which create certain things to happen. Yes, I do believe in ghosts. I'm open to it because, you know, it can't happen. It can't happen. I was always taught that no one knows the future except for God, so I'm trying to stick with that. It makes my life easier. This place is really haunted. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be really haunted. This is real. This place has a history of being, you know, of, of like, haunted. I sense them. Um, I can feel them around me. I just don't want to piss the ghosts off, so I'm just going to keep it cool, you know. Hopefully I will be able to get something documented. Good. Tomorrow we'll, we'll see. We'll get it all on tape. Hopefully it's going to be a fun time. See you later. Bye. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is way freakier than anything I imagined. Yeah. Prisoners carved up their victims, 1986. Known inmate hung in own cell. Inmate burned in death by fellow inmate. And I just, oh my god. Let's see what the computer says. Yeah, all right. Guys on console as the computer? All oh, right. Okay, begin your stay by clicking on the video button above to access the video. We're watching the video. Welcome to the West Virginia State Penitentiary. Built in 1866, for decades it was called one of America's most violent prisons. Condemned and abandoned in 1995, 
It has since become known as one of the most supernaturally active areas in the country. Yes, I'd say this is probably, uh, has had more killings on 10 acres of land than most any place in the United States. If you died in prison, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was like your, your spirit was, was destined to just wander the hallways of the prison, never to be free. Yeah, there's definitely something hostile down here, but it keeps moving away from me. A really, really angry presence, and I can feel it just keeps backing away. If there's ever a place that was haunted, this place should really be haunted. There's definitely something in the energetic makeup of very haunted places that will wreak havoc with electrical and mechanical equipment. And once in a while you get a howling of wind. Where that comes from, I have no idea. Because there's no wind, there's not, you know, there's no windows, there's no, I mean, you're underground here. This is their home. This is all they know. And we're traipsing around in here, poking around in their lives. If we do not treat them with respect, then they will get angry. Your mission over the next four nights will be to determine if the prison is in fact haunted. Your investigation will take you to six locations in the prison where supernatural activity has been reported. You must abide by four key rules. One, you must follow the instructions on this website in your investigation of each supernatural hotspot. Two, use your camera equipment to document your experiences at all times. Three, if and only if you complete both nights of the investigation, you will each be paid $3,000. Four, if you decide to quit, you'll be paid nothing, and another team member must be selected to complete your assignment. Your task tonight is to familiarize yourself with the six supernatural areas. The person in each spot is to remain for a minimum of 15 minutes, observing carefully for any signs of a supernatural presence and reporting their findings. Sometimes the most effective way to begin a ghost hunt is to go into a place, sit down quietly, and tune into the energies of the place. You will begin in the prison's north yard, site of the first three hotspots, the infirmary, the Alamo, and the hole. Your investigation begins now. Good luck. Using the tarot deck, I want to draw a card. The people with the three lowest cards put on their vest. They're the away team. Oh, the person with the fourth, fourth lowest card will act as a safety. If one of the away team gets into trouble or panics, the safety person will help. Five. All right, 14. That's 10. No. Oh, I'm 12. I'm 10. I go. See you See later. You. All right, let me get lined up here for uh, destinations, and then uh, we'll go from there. Over. Thanks, officer. Right? Yeah. Shut the door. Yeah, hit record. Christina, you're gonna go to the uh, north yard. Okay, over. I don't claim any religion, but if I were to be one, I would probably be a Catholic Celtic witch. <laughs> and you're going to stop in front of the administration building. Okay, let's do it. Yo, girl. Pray for me. Pray for me. Fear is something that you don't want to materialize. I'm just preparing myself for what we're getting ready to do. Hopefully, I won't be a big baby and go home. <laughs> Ariana, let me know when you get yeah. there, over. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, you know what to do. Just explore a little bit, film a little bit, make sure your batteries and tapes are all set up. My greatest fear, I guess, is man's greatest fear, and your fear is the unknown. My greatest fear is definitely death. Dead people scare me, like cemeteries scare me. I don't like hospitals. That's, uh, I'll get back to you in a minute, Ariana. Over. I'm just type of person I don't believe anything really till I really witness it myself. Here we go. The away team has 60 seconds to choose a person to go into the hole. Choose now. Is that the hole? I, I think so. That was it, huh? I'll do it. Steve, this is Derek. I'm going in, so um, you're talking to me now, buddy. Send the chosen person into the hole. Tell them to explore the hole, but do not leave it. They should be ready to report what they experience. But only Derek to go into the hole. Everyone else is waiting outside. Over. Safety is standing at the light post. Do you hear me? Okay. 
this here was the hole. Uh, the older officers told me that years ago they would take them down in here and shackle them to the wall. It really uh, reeks of anger and murderous intent. Anybody that went to the hole was in danger. Anybody. Good luck, sweetie. Look at me. Are you scared? No, I'm doing good. And can you make me not scared? There's no reason to be afraid, Al. We're golden. We're good. Just hanging out. It's just like hanging out anywhere. Yeah. A prison. I'd rather... Oh, man, I don't know. I know what I'm talking about. sign in front of me that says infirmary. Over. Tell me what you see. Over. Alright, I'm walking into the infirmary now. It is very, very dark in here and very scary. Over. <laughs> that name is because the inmates said that it was their last stand. They had cells back in there built separated from everybody else. This is where Red Snyder and was killed in there and Bobby Jarvis and all of them. That's where they lived back in this one little area. If there is a devil or Satan, he, he was working overtime in a place like this. I'm feeling a little jittery right now. Yes, we found it. All right, I'm in. Hold on. Ariano, the Alamo is going to be to your right. Oh my God, you guys. It's multi levels. Okay, there. Open the door in front of you and enter the catacombs. Go straight through the two more set go straight through two more sets of doors. So you're gonna go through two more sets of doors. Go straight in the hole until you pass a chain link fence. If you shine your light to the right, you'll see a steel bar door. Go through that door. That's the hole. Over. Tell me when you're in there. I'm now in the hole, guys. I am in the hole. Over. Okay, just wait there until I call you zero and do different, okay? Yes, sir. Ariana, how you doing? I'm okay. I'm a little scared. Listen, go in the Red Snyder's cell. Somebody told me the blood was still all over the floor where Red Snyder got killed. Red went down there and he stabbed him four or five more times, raped him and hung him out over the third tier and dropped him, busted his head like a pumpkin. 
I'm sure that people like Red Snyder are probably still there somewhere. I don't know how they could rest in peace. just flew in here. Oh no. Is anybody talking? from the ceiling. Coming from up there. Man, I'm just ready to get up out. Okay, 15 minutes is up. I'm out. I gotta get out of here now. Over. I don't know what just happened. I really have to get out of here. Over. voices uh there was some loud sound doing something it was going on and off right. freaking the hell out of me um i can't believe i did that <sighs> Oh, yeah. oh my god, I'm like soaking wet. I'm freaking out. I was like midway through, I actually had the thought that like I may not make it, and then I was like, what do you mean you may not make it? It's like when you're working out and you run like a mile and you're yeah. like, just one more. Just one more. I can do it. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the next test? Woo! Oh my god. Oh god, my nerves. <laughs> Do not move through a step till you have completed the previous one, okay? So. Your exploration will continue with three sites in the south yard. The death row courtyard, the sugar shack, and the electrocution chamber. People who were the last guides and the safety put on vests. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm going out again. You guys want to be the safe here. Alright, you can totally do it. There is no light in here. None. My light on my camera went out. The light everywhere went out. Please. No, I guess we're all fairly brave for being here, but I feel pretty wimpy and scared right now. Guys, 
Yeah. Give me some skin. I'm out of here. Bye, love. Right. Bye. D. My oh, man. Good luck, guys. See you in a little bit. God bless you. Oh, goddess too. Mustang, this is Voodoo 3. Remaining MIGs are bugging out. Request flyby. Over. All right, Ryan, I'm walking through the entrance right now of Death Row, and I see a graveyard. Over. Let me know when you're ready. Over. This here is some crazy. We got a. Uh, Death Row, I guess. Got a couple cells up and down here. I um, guess where these guys spent their time before they were taken to the chair. Who will go to the sugar shack? Okay, I'll go. Over there, it's the killing zone. You know, that's the where the people usually get stuck. Cut up, chopped up. Christina? It says go through the set of double doors with the dice painted on them. Okay. You'll find yourself facing steel bars 20 feet down. To your right is a hallway. hallway, sometimes called the Sugar Shack Hallway. Do you see that? Over. Yes, I'm at the bars. But it's blocked and you can't move. I can't hear you, kid. Let me know that you hear me. Over and out. Give me instructions. You're facing the steel bars. Right in here. It's dead end. It's all blocked right. Walk through the, the, the dice table. Oh, right here? This? No, it's blocked off right there. That's blocked off. When okay. you get to a point where you feel like you are facing the bar. Is this 20 feet ahead from here? It would be that. I don't understand. Tell me where the hell I'm going. Or the, 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 the heaven I'm going. All it says is you're facing the steel bars and you see oh, to the right your hallway. So I'm assuming that maybe that is the right, the hallway, the right of the steel bars. Over. Okay. Instructions, please, and make them quick. Then take the hallway till you reach the end. The hallway is very long and covers half the underground basement. Is it all the way at the end of the hallway? Because I'll keep going. Yes, you are going to the end to find the door. One of bars, the other is flat steel, but stay sugar shack. That's where most most people get cut up, chopped up. Whatever how you want to put it. Oh. Okay, I'm in that room. Okay, Christina, you feeling all right? I do. There's a picture of an Indian on the wall, and I'm happy about it. Okay, I'm going to tell you that right now you guys are going to be really happy. I'm the one that came in here and none of you because there is a huge pentacle on the wall in chalk with little ghost eyes painted on it. I actually, I feel okay in here. Oh. Is that a bat? Just a bird. That's a bat. Oh. Don't worry about it, they hate humans. Oh my god. That was a bat. Right there. Yeah. Alright, the safety person and the last team member should go to the Egyptian room. Over. We're on our way right now, Ryan. We'll tell you when we get there, okay? Over. Go slow, sweetie. Okay. In 1959, the last electrocution occurred in the West Virginia Penitentiary electric chair. And you can still smell the flesh. I mean, the, the, it's got a, a distinct smell to it, uh, burnt flesh. All right. The safety person stands, stays in the Egyptian room. Have the last team member squeeze down a narrow corridor to the execution chamber where nine men were put to death. When you're in the room, you'll find the tarp covering something. Pull the tarp off. You can't come with me? No. I'm a safety. All right, where do okay, I go? Okay, you go ahead and do what you need to do. And then can I come back? And you, you come back to me, okay? 
Okay. Okay. You're good, baby. You're doing an awesome job. This pass through the door in these bars and keep going. There's a room at the end. Enter this room. You're in the room. You'll find a tarp. Cover, cover, cover something. Pull the tarp off. What's that? Derek, I want to come back. Derek, there's a person underneath there. There's nobody underneath yes, there. Yes, there is. Wait. I just went and looked at it. It looks like there's a person there. There can't be. Everybody's long gone. There's nothing here. I don't want to. Are you throwing in the towel here? That means you're all done with the rest of the time. If you do it. Um, Lauren's having a little bit of trouble right now. We're trying to decide if she's going to do this or not. She's not quite sure if she wants to do it. Over. Keep me posted on what's going on. Over. Derek, I'm really scared. Baby, don't worry. I can get to you in 10 seconds flat. That is a really scary thing. It, I, I can get to you in 10 seconds. It's totally cool, okay? Hey, everything Happy seems to be Happy pretty Happy cool Happy in here. Happy I don't know. It's just Happy dark Happy and quiet. And I don't really... Happy I need to talk right now. I need to talk right now. Derek, can you tell me how Lauren's doing? Over? Um, Lauren's getting ready to do it. We're good to go. Laura, talk to me, baby. This is Steve. Over. Yes, I can hear you. I mean, you're going to be fine, all right? Just take a couple deep breaths, okay? You'll be fine. you to keep talking to me and I want Christina you've got to wait there right now Lauren has is freaking out in her own world too so we, we, we gotta get everyone like situated and then that way someone will come and get you when you need to be gone okay I'm quitting get someone now can I take this she's freaking out I gotta talk to her okay I gotta talk to her I won't I'm right here I'm right here can you go out the way you came in, Christina? I can't get there. There is no light in here. None. My light on my camera went out. The light everywhere went out. Please. Something's coming down the hallway. You just make it through that hall. You just book it. You just get the hell out of there as fast as you can. Get out of there. The light on my camera went out. I can't see anything. <laughs> Christina, talk to me, girl. We're on our way, okay? This is Derek. I'm on my way. You have Lauren. You have Lauren with you. Over. Am I correct? Over. Yes, I have Lauren with me. She's right behind me. I'm heading towards Snake Eyes. Hey, Ryan, I need you to tell me what to do. Please. I'm going to head out of here, okay? Tell me if you guys don't want me to, but I'm going to go help them, too. Over. Hey, you know what, Steve? I'm going to go get her. Over. Christina! <laughs> Christina! Follow my voice, baby. You're okay, all right? <laughs> no, keep coming. I'm all the way at the end. Follow my voice. We're doing great, baby. We're doing awesome. Yeah, okay. Okay, I can see now. I can see from your light. Okay, you can see my light. Just keep following me. My light on my camera went out the it's same okay, time all the other lights went out. I don't... That's not... That's not normal. That's not right. Know, for my okay. light to go out on, and all the other lights to go out. Don't worry about it, honey. Don't worry. Come here. Give me a hand. I'm out of my mind right now, too. Don't think that... You know? I was 
fine. I was, I was totally fine until there were no lights and I couldn't leave. You can't leave with no lights. No, I know that. Steve, we, we found everybody. Why don't you come meet us outside, brother, okay? Okay. No! Ryan, we're heading all back, heading to Snake Eyes. Um, Derek's radio is out. So, we're gonna meet back at Snake Eyes. I don't know what else to do. Over. Get back. You doing alright, kiddo? You're doing good. You know what I'm thinking right now? You know what you're thinking? Hard stomps coming downstairs. Were there even stairs where I was? The lights went down and they, the stomping on the stairs and I was like, oh. you know what? Okay. You know what? Don't even worry about it. You're back. You're so that man. Dude, I'm scared right now. Like my heart is jumping yeah. out of my chest while I'm in there. And I'm just, you know, I have no control of it. I'm, I'm not like the slightest bit calm. I'm just thinking, what the hell is going to happen next? You don't know. You know? It's scary. What, what do you think you can do next? Hopefully not possession. No, oh, I'm dead serious. We're not talking about that because that's not for you. So? But that's not for you. Nothing's going to hurt you. Nothing can harm you here. It's just energies. It's just different kinds of energies that we're feeling. I've never dealt with, like, ghosts that are that strong. Yeah. I've dealt with spirits that are that strong, but it's totally different, and I think that's what I came here to learn. If you can't do it, don't do it, please. I don't know. never ever do it again but I don't regret that I did go I really can honestly say I've dealt with a lot of scary things spiritually and I've never dealt with anything like this if someone wanted to know what hell might feel like that's the closest I've ever felt to anything you'd call hell like I don't even I don't even know what just happened to me like I just experienced something horrible all right, we're gonna wait and see who's going. This is a bad sign. I think this is a bad sign. Oh. If a team member cannot complete his or her dare, another team member must be selected to complete the investigation. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little warmer tonight. Thank you. Come on. Yo, girl. Take your time, guys. You get a Bye. Pray for me. Can you guys hear me? Can you just hear that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. We're there, check. Over. All right, Ariana, go to the sugar shack. Over. That's me, over. Love you, sweetie. You're doing great, babe. All right, the safety person and the last team member should go to the Egyptian room. Over. We're on our way right now, Ryan. We'll tell you when we get there, okay? Over. Ryan, we're ready. We're in the Egyptian room. You can go ahead, okay? Over. Ariana, are you at the sugar shack? All right, I'm here, over. Okay, you go ahead and do what you need to do, and you come back to me, okay? Okay. You're good.
Are you done? I think so. You are? I'm trying to think. I think, the, like I said, the, whatever you want, girl. You can't do it, you can't do it. Am I going to be your safety if I do that? No, you're gone. You're done. If you don't complete the task. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I just experienced, but I... I don't know, is it, is it, what's it like down there? Horrible. Like, I just experienced something horrible. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what just happened to me. All of a sudden, I just, like, literally felt something in there. Like, and it was I'm like, well, and it, it wasn't like a sound, and it wasn't like, mm. it, I felt something horrible just now. And so like, this isn't even like a big one right now, and yeah, it's not... It these yeah, individual ones are the big ones. But we all, I think we all each get like one individual task, like a night. So, I mean, you're probably gonna have to go like to death row. You back in? We don't think any less of you if you do. Yeah. No, I know. I just don't know how I'm gonna react if there's like. Let Lauren know that if she doesn't want to do this, she can quit and appoint me, and I can go in and fill in for her. Over. Oh. Did you hear that? Yeah. You can quit and appoint him and he can go in and fill in. Ryan, if she doesn't want to do this and she appoints you to do it, is she done with this whole thing? Does she go home or is she just done with this task? Over. And she is done with for the whole thing. Over. No, I'm done. I'm definitely done. I can't believe I just, I don't know, you guys, like, I, I, there's no logical reason why I just left there because I wasn't, it wasn't like I was that scared. I felt something that just was not right. Like I felt something that just really, I, I can't even explain it. It was like, I cannot be in here. I can't, I, this is not right. I, I need to get out of here now. It was like evil. <laughs> I felt like I had like no control of it, you know? I felt like I was a prisoner. Now, like at least I feel safe. Uh, Lauren couldn't handle it. I'm gonna go into the electrocution room where she was. And tell me when you get to the Egyptian room, okay? Over, right, I'm in there, chief. And I heard there were bats inside, so pray for me. Okay, Derek and Ryan, let me know when you get to the Egyptian room. Over. We're on our way right now. Thank you very much, Steve. Beyond the couch, towards the end of the room, will be a narrow corridor to the left. Have the last team member squeeze down this corridor. He or she will find another chamber at the end. Okay, so we're gonna go. Let me know when he's there. Over. Can you hear him? Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, I go down. Yeah. And I go to the left. And you just go all the way down. There's room. You go through like a uh, chain link thing, and you'll go through. And there's a room down there. And that's just the room where the tarp is. You're hanging there. You've done a great job. Okay, over. So you just go all the way down. You're planning. Shit, you can hear me if I scream, right? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm 10 seconds away from you, brother. Anything you need, I'm 10 seconds away. Right, you want me right there? I'll be right here. Do I go inside of here? You go straight until you get into that room where the light is.
scared. I've never been this scared in my life. Don't look at it. Just take care of what you take care of. Ugh. All right, I'm walking towards the light. I'm walking towards the light. I'm about to pull the light on. teams of two. Who's on the team is your choice. The remaining people will act as guides. This dare requires the ghost EMF hunting equipment. This dare requires ghost hunting equipment. The EMF detector responds to electromagnetic fields. Use it like a metal detector. It will lead you to either electrical equipment or paranormal activity. The more the needle jumps, the more paranormal activity surrounds you. Yep, if we didn't think we saw anything before, guess what? It's going to show us if we did. Night vision systems. When you find paranormal activity, use the night vision system to scan the area. Ghosts and haunting can appear in the infrared while remaining invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> Ryan and I are going over to Sugar Shack okay. and we'll be looking for ghosts. All right, Derek, Ariana, we just stepped outside. Get us over. Sugar Shack? Sugar Shack. 
The Sugar Shack is definitely a repository of extremely negative energy. Okay, buddy, all you gotta do is head down to Snake Eyes. Got you, kid. We'll tell you where it's Snake Eyes over. We got a call. Not Steve Buster. All right, we're walking through Snake Eyes right now. Tell me where to go. Over. All right, bad boy. You make a right down the first hallway. Follow it all the way to the dead end, which is kind of, was way at the end. You make a right, and there's a dead end. On the left, there's a doorway. Above it, it says the Sugar Shack. All right, we're doing that right now. Over. It's a terrible place. It's eerie. Uh, don't know where it comes from. All right, we're on our way, walking down this long, dark corridor on our way to the fucking sugar shack. I am, oh, what was that? What, do you hear this? Hello. <laughs> Where do I go? Where does it go to? Over. You'll hit the end of the hallway and you take a right, and uh, right to your immediate left, there should be a door above it. It says the sugar shack. Let me know when you get there. Over. Yeah, we got it over. As soon as you enter the room, and I'll start the first 15 minutes, you're to walk over every area of the hot spot. You can't hang in corners. Use the same walking pattern as if you were mowing the lawn. Okay. You have to cover the whole hot spot. If you skimp, they'll see it on the video. Okay, guys? Okay. We're in the room now. We have to, we have to stay in here for 15 minutes and use our EMF detector and our laser detector to find out if there are ghosts in here. We're in the room. Over. I started time over first 15 minutes. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be looking for. Steve, if you see some skin, you know it's a ghost, basically. So let's, what, is what is that on the floor? That's blood. Okay, I don't know. Let's not go there. It's, it's definitely that. blood. There. Oh my god, what's on that wall? There. It's a guy. I don't know about chicks. I'm seeing some. Up. Oh, dude. Are you real? real? Like, stuff. Can I, can I see? Yo, dude, this is crazy, man. You should see this hole with these infrared lights, man. It's up, over. You're doing a great job, guys. You're doing a great job. Now let's walk through the middle of these pillars, yo. Holy, come over here. What is this? What do you see? I want to be so close to you. Dude, stay close, man. I need you to be close, too. Dude, there's a figure. Get close. Like it was above my head in the infirmary. It came closer to me. Ariana, did you hear like sound like someone was walking upstairs? Like every couple sec, like every couple minutes, someone walking upstairs. Yes, I did. Okay, guys, here's the next part of it. You guys are rock stars, and we're gonna keep on doing this. This is the part now where Ryan needs to leave and head out to Snake Eyes to head to the outside where we wait. Over. So I have to leave, right? Are you cool, man? Talk to me, mother. Talk to me the whole time, please. Ryan, be honest with you, man. Like, I don't know, man. These goggles are freaking me out, man. Because I see too much moving around these things. I love you guys so, so, so much. Want to touch the hiney. Yo, Steve, how you, how you holding up, man? You cool? Ryan, can you hear me? Over. Ryan, can you hear me? Over.
dude, that's, but I can't breathe right now. Um, this is the craziest thing I've ever encountered in my entire life. I cannot believe it. if I didn't have these people here with me, I think I might have just cut myself in there. It doesn't harm to myself because I'm freaking. I was like, I would have, like, I seriously was like, I, I just said to the camera on the way over, if, I would, if you guys wouldn't have been talking, I would have cut, I would have like started trying to harm myself. The shadows are all come into the camera and just. I've been in that room. <laughs> Good job, bro. Good job. Dude, that noise, man, that noise, it sounds like this. But only on like some big giant just walking across the stairs like this, like every every couple seconds, like just. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Is that... Most psychics consider the hole. Most be... psychics consider the hole to be the most paranormally active area in the prison. In case you've not already selected it, we want you to investigate it. The first person who went into the hole must now go back into the hole alone. He or she must sit in the metal chair and document paranormal activity using the EMF detector. Electrical and mechanical devices are very prone to failure in certain haunted places. Years ago, they would take them down in here and shackle them to the wall. All they had in this room was a hole in the floor to use the bathroom. They'd be leaving them in here for a week, two weeks at a time. Anybody that went to the hole was in danger. Oh my God. Really? That's like sitting in the electric chair. If they would have told me to sit in that damn electric chair. Hey, Derek, come here. here now uh, go ahead and read me my instructions after I sit in the chair over hey check this out buddy I need you to go into the hole turn off all your lights your flashlights and maintain radio silence for 15 minutes and just listen to the EMF detector. Let me know if you're Steve, hold on over. a second, man. I gotta pump myself up for this, okay, brother? I gotta pump myself up. I'm outside the hole still. Just hang on a second. I don't know about all this turning off the light. Hold on a second, okay? Over. We're here, we're waiting, we're being patient with you. And um, Brian wanted me to tell you that your platinum, platinum shines in the dark. Sorry, I don't know what's going on. I just, I'm trying to overcome this. This is just intense. Derek, man, I can hear and feel your pain. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I can feel you. I know what you are going through. When I was looking at that electric chair, 
Man, I can do exactly what you are going through. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I just thought that I was platinum. You know what I'm saying? I just knew that I was platinum. And me knowing that I was platinum, that helped me straight through. You know what I'm saying? So, so you just know that you are platinum too? With diamonds shining all over you and you just glistening in the dark in that chair and you will make it through. You will be back here in 15 minutes. And you'll be the bond and you'll get your props. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's every self-doubting thing in the world that's coming right at you, and... He's gonna come in when I reach, right? Mm. Just give me that, please. Just give me a yell if you can still, if you still got frequency. I just wanna make sure you're still there, over. I'm still here, guys. I'm coming back. I'm coming back right now. I just wanna... This wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to... I mean, come on. That's no, this is ridiculous. ridiculous. Let's ridiculous. come on, come here, come here. Let's read the next dare, okay? Put, put your camera down. Put your camera down. Put your camera down. Derek, congratulations. Congratulations. You have completed your investigation of the prison's haunting. However, if you have not completed the previous steps, you must remain in the prison until they are done. Are you All kidding? Me? This all comes down to me for us to finish this whole thing. No, no it doesn't. It doesn't. I think I don't know if we can pick someone else. It has to be the person who went there before. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Look at me, Derek. We're a team, but we are each in this individually to face our own fears. You got balls, man. Whether you believe it or not, and you say things get the best of you, you don't. This doesn't get the best. This place gets the best of anybody. You are a strong will person. You care about other people. You're a leader. And you don't like to let people down. But this is not about us. This is about you. And I think that's what the problem is. I think that when you go in there, you're putting pressure from us on yourself that we are not putting on you. This is for you. You have to go. If you want to do this, you have to go into that hole and in, uh, sit in that chair for yourself. This is a tiny little cubby and you're just... Damn hole. Damn, damn hole. Damn hole. Damn hole. It's just a hole. It's a hole. It's a freaking hole. Steve, can you hear me over? Steve, can you hear me over? Baby, we are here. Derek, oh my God, we are dancing for you. Hundred percent, we got so back. Go ahead and start the time. We're starting the time, buddy. You in there, okay? Yeah, we're here, baby. I feel the sunshine, I feel the rain inside I don't know that everything 
is good to me. He's two minutes in. Two minutes, two minutes in. What? Thirteen minutes to go. Everything's gonna be fine. And when the sun comes up tomorrow, I'm gonna feel it in my face. I'm gonna dance in jubilation in front of the entire human race. Now, I know they're at home thinking like, this is crazy, this is stupid, but what is your greatest fear? Would you be doing this? Because I know, I know there. You may think that this is easy and you may think that we're tripping and, and bugging and we're a bunch of babies, but this <laughs> is no joke. I'm, I keep saying it, I can't stress it enough. You're gonna run into my arms with goodness, love forevermore. and there's just a lot of evil here in general, like just what went on here. And I don't know if it's because I feel guilt, but um, when I was in the Sugar Shack, I felt something definitely in there. If any place is haunted, man, and this place is, um, I don't think that this place is haunted. I feel that it is very, very scary. And the preconceived notion that it may, it was rumored to be haunted, that really is what plays on your mind. I believe that this place is haunted with our own fears. Like everything that we bring into here, our own trepidation and our own fear that we have within ourselves is the thing that's gonna haunt us the most. Don't 
Loomis and All New Fear, just in time for Halloween, Friday, October 27th at 8 p.m. Get close. Ah!